We've come to the historic Thirlstane Castle in the Scottish borders for a clay shoot with a difference. You can tell we're in Scotland by the refreshments on offer and the fact that everyone takes the inevitable rain shower in their stride. It's a 100 bird down the line competition, which is part of Sir Jackie Stewart's fundraiser for the charity Race Against Dementia. It's a cause that's close to Sir Jackie's heart. Sadly, my wife Helen has, uh, was identified seven years ago to have dementia, and they told us there is no cure. Helen's now to a point where she can no longer walk. So I started this charity, and I want in my lifetime to find a cure for dementia. Sir Jackie was a household name as a top motor racing driver in the 1960s and 70s. Less well known is his success at clay shooting. I was a clay pigeon shooter before I was a racing driver because I shot for Scotland and Great Britain. Uh, so therefore, I thought, let's have a shooting day before the cars start. So that's what we're doing here. and We've got some of the best shots in the country here. And it's the beginning, because uh, there's never been a, sh a shoot here before. So the shooting is today, and then tomorrow are all the beautiful cars from around the world. So why did Sir Jackie give up clay shooting and switch to motor racing? I gave it up because it was an amateur sport and I got married. And therefore, uh, marriage costs money. And so I had to become a racing driver. And then I had to become a world champion to afford the sort of expensive wife I had. Now that's being a little over, over the top. But no, no, my motorsport came and I was very happy and proud to, to have it. One shooter who's particularly keen to meet Sir Jackie is Gabriel Marchetti from Cumberland. He's brought along a couple of old boxes of Ely trap cartridges in the hope of fulfilling a long-held ambition. Well, basically, they were in the loft, and I thought, if I ever meet Jackie Stewart, because I met him back when I was 16, and I had the, the, the cartridges then, and I just kept them, thinking one day I'll meet him, and I'll get them signed, and there you go. Finally done it. And you did? Yes, well, we used to watch him driving about, but then, of course, all the shooting as well he was doing. You know, so I, it, was, it was lovely to be actually at a shoot that he was at, and it was an Olympic trench shoot. And it was the first time I'd shot Olympic trench, and it was really eye-opening and enjoyed it, and that was me forever, constantly. That's it. So Jackie was uh, uh, has represented Scotland and uh, Britain at uh, shooting, and he uh, was sponsored by Ely back in the 60s and early 70s. So we've had a long-term relationship with him. So we were the natural choice uh, for him to approach when he uh, decided to have this event in, in, in aid of uh, the dementia charity. Today's event is a 100 target down the line competition. So what cartridges would Tony recommend for the job? We've developed um, cartridges specifically for DTL, so we do our DTL goals, which is a 28 gram, seven and a half and eight shot. But we've also found a lot of people are using our superb cartridge as well, um, which we do as a 24 gram, seven as well as 28 grams. So they're both ideal cartridges for this discipline. Ely shooter Becky Kibble usually shoots skeet and sporting, but she's going to give DTL a go. Yeah, we're booked in today, um, booked in with my dad and a couple of the boys, so I'm looking forward to it. It'll be nice just to shoot something different as well. Um, yeah, we'll give it a go anyway. <laughs> Living in Scotland, Becky does a lot of travelling to shoots around the country. So how's the increased price of fuel impacting her shooting? I do a, a lot, a lot of travelling, so it it's, does make it a little bit trickier. Um, we've usually got a couple of people in the car, so it kind of helps out a wee bit but yeah it's not easy but we still love it and we're still going to do it so. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Will you cut down at all? Will you do less travelling? Um, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Shooting is, shooting is just my life. Um, I live for it. I love it and just want to do it more. want to just shoot, shoot, shoot. More the merrier. <laughs> Unlike Becky, Paul Chaplow shoots thousands of DTL targets each year. He's currently ranked number three in the country. He explains what he finds so compelling about the discipline. Well, down the lines, um, possibly one of the uh, starting level uh, of the clear disciplines. Uh, it gets people up and running, uh, but what often people say, it's possibly the easiest to get people uh, going, but um, 
possibly the hardest one to master because you've got to put uh, nigh on a perfect or a near perfect score in every time if you're going to win. Um, it is achievable and that's what keeps us going and keep, keep going to break the records, etc. The scoring system for DTL isn't like other disciplines where you get a simple one or zero for a hit or miss. We shoot um, a squad of five shooters and we have five pegs, one, one each, and we shoot five targets on each peg. Each target is worth three points. If you hit it with your first shot, you score three points. If you miss it with your first shot and you hit it with your second, you score two points. Uh, but if you miss the target completely, it's zero points. There's four rounds in total, so that means a total score is 300 points and it's classed as 100 stroke 300, that's the perfect score. 100 kills, first barrels, that, that equivalents to 300 points, so that's a 100-300. Paul is no stranger to that perfect 100-300 score. In fact, he holds the record. Yeah, we've done a few. Um, where, where are you up to now? Uh, last weekend, uh, we competed at Bywell Shooting Ground at the DTL weekend, uh, and I shot my 174th 100 300. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is there a target? Are you going to get to 200? Uh, uh, we'll do a 200. Yeah, we'll keep going for 200. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happens? Are you gonna get... uh, we'll see. <laughs> I won't wrap up, but uh, I don't know about setting myself any more targets after yeah, that. Yeah. So what's the secret to achieving that perfect score? Get the fundamentals right, to be honest with you. Get the gun to shoot where you look. Before you start allocating around all over the country, this, that and other, get the basics right. Get the gun to shoot where you look. Gun fit, gun mount, that's it. You, you know, repeat doing the same thing time in, time again. Don't alter anything, don't rush. Don't get flustered, just do the same thing. Once it works, do the same thing every time. Easier said than done, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. Today wasn't to be another perfect score for Paul Rowe. He scored 98-291, taking second place in AA class. Mr Paul Chaplow on a 98-291. Well done, Paul. The top spot went to Matt Sheldrake, Matt Sheldrake with an almost perfect 100-299 meaning he broke every target and only needed his second barrel once. Clay pigeon shooting has still got something to do to attract more people to it. And I think having it here is going to illustrate that and we're going to have it even more, um, more important than it's been in the past.